we've seen that touch is a necessity. We use it to communicate messages to the outside world and to get information back from there. But a basketball player who's high-fiving a teammate or the kind of incidental decision swaying that we get from holding a heavier light clipboard, that's a very different type of communication than what happens when you're deliberately sending a message, like writing a letter or what a company does when it's trying to communicate something about a brand. And there's a lot of interest lately in how touch influences those kinds of messages. Since the early 90s, there have been more than 100 published studies on people reading on paper versus on a screen. And it turns out that overall what they show is that people prefer reading on paper. And that's because things are more intuitively navigable and you can make a better mental map of where things are. And it's just cognitively easier on you than reading on a screen. And so people tend to enjoy the experience better and they remember more. A recent study in Norway had high schoolers read texts either on paper or online and they measured comprehension and comprehension was much better when you were reading on paper. And similarly, in Sweden, they had a bunch of students read things online. What they found is that their levels of stress were higher, and they were also more tired afterward as compared with when they read on paper. When you consider memory, paper looks even better, and that's because when we read online, we tend to go about it a different way where we're hunting and browsing and scanning for things. But on paper, your attention is directed in a different way, and so we have a longer-term memory for what we've read. So while digital devices are great for certain kinds of communication, like sending tweets or getting directions, it turns out that even digital natives have a better experience on paper in terms of comprehending what they're reading and remembering it better. My lab wanted to investigate this a little bit further and ask, does the quality of the paper have anything to do with people's responses? Would a high quality paper lead to more comprehension and better memory? Would people have a different emotional response? And given that the brain uses the same networks when judging people and companies, we wanted to understand whether this haptic communication would influence how people feel about brands. It's a classic question for communicators. How does the medium shape the message? So we brought people in one at a time and we showed them brochures for three fictitious companies, a jump rope company, a tea company, and a tech company. The key is that any given participant read about each company, either on heavy, high quality coded paper, or lighter, lower quality uncoded paper, or on a website. Which company you see on which medium is totally randomized? So for any given company, the content is the same, including the design and the photography and the typography. The only variable being tested was the medium. So each participant spends about five minutes reviewing the material for each company, and then they answer questions about their comprehension and their understanding of what the company is offering. And they also answer questions about their feelings, trustworthiness of the company, the integrity, their likelihood to recommend. We found that when people viewed a company on the high quality coded paper, they were more likely to have a positive first impression than when they viewed it on the low quality uncoded paper or on the website. And they were more likely to recommend the company to a friend or a colleague. So it was a first impression, a lasting impression. A week later, we got everyone back. And what we found is that those companies that had been presented on the high quality coded paper had a higher favorability rating and people were better able to recall the names of those companies three to one compared to the low quality paper or the websites. The company presented on the high quality coded paper was also the most likely to get rated as having the highest degree of quality. And this is in contrast to the company that was presented on the low grade uncoded paper, which was the most likely to get rated as raising doubt. So just like with hot coffee or hand warmers or heavy clipboards or comfortable chairs, the quality of paper matters. In my lab study, the high quality coated paper was the most conducive to building knowledge and fostering positive long-term memories. So our study extends what previous research has shown, which is that the physical nature of paper unconsciously influences our decisions.